It's so important to protect your financial situation in your separation or divorce. I will discuss more details on how to safeguard your financial circumstances in this video. Hi, my name is Thomas O'Malley. I'm an experienced family lawyer in Durham Region and the GTA. Please remember to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you've not done so already, you'll find a lot of important videos there for you. When you've received full financial disclosure from your spouse, you should definitely negotiate a solid separation agreement with your former spouse. Now, the key to negotiating a successful separation agreement is to get the advice of an experienced Ontario family lawyer. You just can't go wrong with that. In fact, your family lawyer will draft and negotiate the separation agreement for you. You want to make sure you take full advantage of all the deductions that you're allowed to take on your financial statement. Make sure you list each debt that you have on the date of separation. This can dramatically reduce your net worth so that you either pay a lower equalization payment to your spouse or you receive a higher equalization payment from your spouse, depending on your situation. Make sure you get a deduction for the cost of selling your home or cashing out your RRSPs. These are called notional dispositions. You should realize as well that you probably don't have to pay the full amount of child support. In many cases now, children live with each parent for approximately half of the time. You would only pay child support based on a set-off amount that is usually much lower than the full amount of child support. Don't let your house sit forever as well. In many cases, one spouse will continue to live in the matrimonial home. That's fine for a short period of time. However, if you're entitled to equity from the home, you should encourage settling the issue of the house with your former spouse as soon as possible. If your spouse wants to buy out your interest in the home, they should check with a mortgage broker to see if they qualify for the necessary mortgage to pay you for your interest in the home. If your spouse cannot buy your interest in the home and you don't want to buy out your spouse's interest in the matrimonial home, you need to get the house listed for sale within a reasonable period of time after the start of your separation. As part of the process of getting separated or divorced, don't make big expenditures. You need to keep your expenses under control as you figure out your financial future. By taking these steps, you're well on your way to protecting your financial future during and after your separation or divorce. If you have any questions about your separation, divorce, or family law case, and you'd like our help, feel free to contact me on my Facebook law office page, that's O'Malley Family Law, or call me 905-434-8837 and I'll point you in the right direction. Please make sure to share this important information and video with your friends, family members, and coworkers so that it helps more people avoid serious problems in their separation or divorce before it's too late.